Hi guys, Yasas Kekalos de Tata to another episode of Dimitro's Dishes. Today we're making another delicious roasted, roasted leg of lamb recipe, except this time we're going to flavor it with harissa and warm Mediterranean and Middle Eastern spices. It's going gonna, it's gonna to roast low and flow in the oven, so really the only work you have to do is to, is to season this well, put it in the oven, and then you forget about it. And if you have guests coming over, you can pre prepare the side dishes or get your house in order. <laughs> Let's get started. So this is a super simple recipe. So we're starting off with a, with a leg of lamb that has the bone in. Some of the fat has been trimmed off. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some slits into it. This time I'm not going to put the garlic in there, but I am cutting the slits so the marinade can, can get into the meat. Um, you can season the meat well and then refrigerate it overnight. So that way you could have tons of flavor. But I'm just going to do it like this. There is going to be a lot of flavor in this already and all of the seasoning, so it should be good. If you want to, you can uh, cut little slits of garlic and put them inside of the slits. Um, that would be very flavorful too. So I'm gonna begin with putting about 15 or 16 garlic cloves in the bottom of the pan. And then I have the, where most of the flavor is gonna come, this uh, harissa paste. This is not sponsored, but I do love this brand. It's Minna, and it's usually sold in the international section of the supermarket. If you cannot find it, then I do have a recipe where you can make your own at home. It's so good, it's slightly spicy. I like to buy um, the mild one. They do have a spicier variety. The mild has just the right amount of spice for me. And I love this brand because it's not too spicy and it has lots of roasted red pepper flavor. I'm gonna use the whole jar because I love the flavor of this sauce. Smells so good. Then I'm gonna put some salt. So depending on the size um, of your leg of lamb, I go about half a teaspoon per pound. That's my measurement for salt. Some freshly cracked black pepper. A heaping uh, tablespoon of thyme. You can use thyme, oregano, or even rosemary. Then about a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. It's slightly sweet, so delicious. Two heaping teaspoons of ground coriander. I'll just put one more. And two heaping teaspoons of ground cumin. These are warm spices that, are, that have so much flavor. And then I'm just gonna make sure that this is coated all around the lamb. We're gonna do both sides. Put a little bit of salt on the back side too. And when it comes to salt, I see comments sometimes where some of you feel like this is too much salt. When you're cooking at home, you should season everything to suit your liking. So if you don't like it too salty, just put less. Then I'm gonna add about a cup or a cup and a half of water to the bottom of the pan. This is gonna help the lamb cook. And then I have shallots that I've peeled I have some big ones over here. Now I, I had to go to two different supermarkets to get these because the first supermarket just had a few of these big ones and then the second one had these very small ones over here. I'm just putting them in whole. Um, sometimes uh, shallots come um, with a few pieces like stuck together. You can just separate them. But this is gonna bake in the oven or roast in the oven for such a long time that these are gonna all soften and just get slightly sweet and very flavorful. Now I have a piece of parchment paper, paper that I'm just gonna crumble up. The reason I crumble it up is so that way it stays in place a little easier. And if you can just smell this, when are they gonna come up with smell vision The roasted red pepper and the balsamic vinegar, all of these flavors smell so good together. Just cover the lamb. And then put a piece of parchment paper on top of that. Not parchment, aluminum foil on top of that. The reason we put the parchment is so that way the aluminum foil is not in direct contact with the meat. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna go in the center rack and it's gonna bake until the meat is nice and soft and almost falling off the bone. Now, if you're looking for a medium rare or, or medium or any of that stuff, this is not the right channel for you because I've never cooked it that way. In Greece, they always cook the meat until it's tender and falling off the bone or super soft at least. 
So that's going to take about four hours. It can even go up to five hours, depending on the cut of meat, depending how big it is and all of that stuff. Around the three hour mark or even two and a half hour mark, you can go in and take a look at it and see if it's starting to soften. Um, if maybe it needs a little bit more liquid in the bottom of the pan, you could add another half cup of water or so. Once it comes out of the oven, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. The only thing that I'm gonna do um, before I take it out, I'm gonna remove the foil once the meat is nice and soft, and then I'm gonna let it broil just for a few minutes so it can get a nice, beautiful color on top. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. All right, so the lamb is out of the oven. It took almost five hours in my oven to cook, and then for the last five minutes, I turned on the broiler element so it can get a little bit of color. You can leave it on the, on, you could leave it under the broiler a little bit longer to get as dark and as crispy as you like it. The shallots are literally melting and falling apart. I didn't put a drop of oil in this, but the lamb is a pretty fatty cut of meat or fatty piece of meat and it did release a lot of oil. So you can skim some of it off and discard it if you don't like that much uh, oil in your food, but it is gonna add so much flavor, so delicious. I made some lemony rice pilaf. I've done so many, I've used that recipe in so many of my videos and I will link it down below if you wanna make that with the lemony potatoes. But the lemony potatoes, really all I did was I peeled a, a whole bag of russet potatoes and then I quartered them. I put them in a baking tray and I put a quarter cup actually more, it's more like a third of a cup because I like them very lemony. A third of a cup of lemon juice on top, some olive oil, about a quarter cup of olive oil, season them really well with salt, some black pepper, plenty of dried oregano, and then I also put a teaspoon of grated garlic in there, mix everything all together, and I just let them bake in the oven alongside the lamb until they were fork tender. That took about almost an hour and a half at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. At the end, I did let them sit under the broiler a little bit too so they can get some nice color. It is time to take a bite. And I'm going to make sure I take a little piece of, of uh, shallot, some rice, and the lamb is so tender it's falling apart. Mmm. So much flavor. The shallots really make it, uh, the shallots are really nice and sweet and roasted. The lamb is so flavorful from that roasted red pepper harissa sauce. You guys are gonna love it. Excuse me. All of the exact measurements are on the blog post, www.demetriusdishes.com. Check it out, let me know what you guys think. Make some tzatziki with this, a nice cucumber salad. Call some friends over and share this. Um, I did change because I am having friends over because this is too good not to share. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Guess us. You can just smell this. When are they gonna come up with smell-o-vision?